tunnel system continues on up ahead. I don't risk about getting to it if I were you, and this place isn't somewhere you want to stick around for too long. <sighs> More ridiculously proportioned rooms. Ah, and another train. Onwards. Ah. Or not. Ah. Sorry to have to tell you this, but there's no other way. You're, you're going to have to power that train from the engineering department in general research. Now, before I unlock the sector, I must warn you. Listen carefully. This sector contains the very cause of this colony's collapse. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. It was all my fault. I was experimenting with mind enhancements, and the whole thing got out of control. Yeah, so we heard. You'll see things that not real. Uh, anything that appears in any way strange or out of place, ignore it. it. It's not real. You must, however, kill any crows you come across immediately. Yes, he said crows. Very important. Uh, you are somewhat resistant to the crows' influence, a key improvement in your mind, but they can still very easily kill you. Be careful. Oh, Lord. Yep, yeah, so we have to find the switch to turn on the train to continue any further. I'm not saying this is a negative thing, it's a trope of every adventure game ever. Ooh, mysterious man wandering about. There's always some sort of awkward difficulty that requires a lot of travelling around to solve. Huh, okay, so we have a bit more piping in here. Yes, this is the developer's attempt to add a bit more of a surreal horror feel to it. And, mm. It does get scary. Uh, bloodstains help. Always. Uh, yeah, I always wanted to try doing that just to see what happened. Uh, turns out nothing. As you might expect. And then the, door, the lights blow out. Great. So the lighting's not bad. I have no idea what these glow sticks are doing around. There might have been a party at some point that we missed. That would be really annoying. Possibly why, why we woke up in a room and had no idea how we got there. We got smashed the previous night. It's the explanation for everything. Oh, one other thing I do like about this game. They actually make the effort to put paintings on the wall. I can think of no other space environment that actually has a bit of, you know, art sort of just hanging around. It's almost if they wanted it to make it to be a pleasant place to live. Um, sadly, this doesn't extend to the Great Corridors. Now, I believe there was a keycard? Yes. Alright, so that will take us to the spot we need to go for general engineering and help us turn on this train. Hopefully. Sadly, once again, it requires a lot of backtracking. And walking past bloodstains once again. Always slightly unnerving. Yeah, that just happened. <laughs> it's a nice touch, I guess, but I've seen better. Oh yes, this is Woodrow Bell. He is the head of the space station, and as you can imagine, bit of a megalomaniac. But never mind. Honestly, you wonder why they even put people in charge of these things anymore. Ah, there we go. Okay, we have to go into Crow Research. Of course. Oh, but first we shall look in Crow Storage. Honestly, I never get tired of this. Really? Crows? How threatening could crows be? <sighs> Bing. Oh lord! Yeah, that's how threatening crows could be. Bet you. I'll get a shot. <sighs> yes, so Professor Wilson's experiments consisted of turning ordinary birds into telepathic monsters. Seems perfectly reasonable. Don't know how we could have ever thought things would go badly. Okay, so we'll explore here a little. Keycard here. And no audio logs. Okay, we'll just keep going around. I think this will allow us into general engineering, which should save us a bit of time. 
but for the benefit of the doubt, we'll have a look at other doors now. Yeah, so we'll just head back to general engineering, possibly picking up some health on the way. Beastly brandy. Honestly, this game is designed to turn you into an alcoholic. Just one more, one more! Ah, oh dear. Right, now move across here. Uh, uh, yeah, another vending machine. Keycard, on we go. The puzzles in here are hardly complicated. It generally consists of pull three switches, find keycards to get access to switches, profit. Um, as long as you can get into the airlock, you're fine. Now, where do you say... This one first. More victims of the evil crew. Oh boy! Ah! Switch for the third. God, I hate those things. They're so bloody small as well. Oh, well, it's quite fun. Yeah. You can't do it. I thought there was an old yellow around, but I might be mistaken. Yeah. What's this? Human experimentation. We're going to mix humans with crows. Nothing bad could possibly happen. There seems to be a theme with mad scientists. And I think these are all stuck as well, so we might as well move on. To computing lab. That might have. Oh, it has ammunition. I could do with some of that. Yeah, once again, it, survival is not difficult as long as you take the time out to explore. And there are a fair few nooks and crannies in this game which hide the odd bottle of gin. Or, I can't believe I'm saying this. Yes, you will spend your time searching for bottles of gin, scrounging the cupboards for it if necessary. Speaking of which... Oh yeah, it does take a while, unless it's out of stock. Bloody vending machines. Ah, here we go. Used by exterior engineers. I'm sure I can't. Take the train to exterior mansions. Or exterior. I prefer exterior. Um, it's like polygon, it's an ex parrot, but in this, in this case, it's a dead dog. Sorry, that was a bit blunt. Passed on, poodle? Ah, we'll stick with that. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Here we are. Onwards. Okay, you don't need to press the use key to speed it up. That's nice to know, you just need to keep pressing forward. Great. Ah. Oh man, I hate crows. Right, so, we move on, thankfully, from the Corvid-infested area to exterior mansions.